Hey guys, this is Chris here for Frosty Productions, and today I'm going to be doing a um, sort of tutorial and a review for four applications, um, three of which are free, one of which um, is shareware. Uh, actually, DMG Canvas might be shareware as well, but I'm going to be doing Bad CH Mod, uh, Discade, DJ, and DMG Canvas. Now, these are all uh, four great applications that met in many people might not know about. So what I'll do is I'm gonna start with Bat CH mod. But before I begin, I need to make it I'm gonna make a uh, quick little document to uh to demonstrate on. I'm just gonna open a text edit document and just type test um file save as uh just test to my desktop. And if you know more technical people out there uh probably know what CH mod is in the terminal. Is for changing permissions. What makes this application cool is you can change the owner or you can change the permissions on a file. And this is great if you do uh, jailbreaking stuff and you need to change permissions on a uh, application or whatnot or anything. You could use this for a lot of things. So when you open up that CH mod, you're gonna see uh, it's gonna it's gonna ask you to choose a file so that you want to change the permissions on. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to my desktop and choose the file I just created. Open it up. I can change the uh, permissions for uh, for this file to read, write, and execute for owner for the owner, which is set to me. Um, for the group owner, I can set the permissions, and for everyone else, I can set the permissions. Um, what would make this application a lot better is if you could use the bits like uh, I th like in uh, terminal. I'm used to using like 755 and the different bits and stuff, I, I think that's a little easier than going through and checking these, memorizing what the bits do is easier for me. Anyway, that's that CH mod. The next application is uh, Discade. This is great for uh, using your iPhone or iPod Touch as a flash drive. Um, many applications for the iPhone and iPod Touch that claim to do this cost money, but you don't even need an application for the iPhone or iPod Touch to use this. I mean, this will do it. I don't know how it works, but it, it works. So just go ahead and open up uh, this gate here. And you'll get this window. It'll say uh, looking for iPhone or iPod Touch, please plug it in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my second generation iPod Touch. And you'll see that I found my iPod here. Um, it says start here, which is the folder that you're going to put the, the files onto your iPod with to use it as a, uh, as a flash drive. You can. You have options up here. You can create a directory within it, within within this start here folder. Copy files to your Mac. Copy files to your device. Delete files from the device and get info on the file. Um, this is a great application, com uh, completely free. Um, so yeah, that's Discade. It's a great application if you need to use your uh, if you need to use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a uh, flash drive. Now. This is freeware, but for some reason it's it's giving me the option to buy a license or enter a serial key. I downloaded this from for free right from their website, so you know you can go over there and get yourself a copy. I'll have the link in the description along with the other stuff. Um, the next application I have here is called uh, DJ, but I'm gonna skip over that for a second and go on to DMG Canvas. Now, DMG Canvas is a um, more in-depth application. It's shareware, so this pops up. You can choose buy now. Uh, not now or register. For right now, I'm just going to choose not now because I'm going to use a shareware version. Um, I'm not entirely sure what comes with the paid version of this application. Uh, it could, it probably more features, but the shareware version, as far as I know, doesn't expire. There's just less features. But nonetheless, there are a lot of features to be used within this. Now, some of the things you can do is this is, if you know what a disk image is, when you mount it, and you open the mounted disk image, a little window opens. This white box here will represent the window that opens. You'll see I can change where I want it to open, how far from the left and how far from the top, um, and how big I want the window to be with the width and the height adjustments. Um, I can change the window background. I can choose a color, or I can choose an image. I can use an image if I wanted to. And uh, the icon size. Now. Creating a disk image is as easy as dragging and dropping 
what you want to make the disk image out of. So I'm just going to open all my applications here and say I want to make a disk image for that CH mod. I'm just going to grab it and drag it in. See, it'll tell me when I'm hovering over it, hold control while dragging to create an alias. If I want to create, say, uh, you know how some disk images have the application folder alias so you can just drag and drop to install? I could drag my applications folder to create an alias to it and then when this disk image is opened on someone else's Mac, it would have an alias to their applications folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag bat ch mod in. Close this and you'll see I have it here. Now some adjustments I can perform on this. I can make the icon size bigger up to 128 pixels by 128 pixels. Um, and then I can choose build to make this into a uh, disk image. Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how long that'll take so I'm not going to do it. Um, over here in this panel we can name the volume. Um, you can choose an icon for the volume, which is really cool, and you can format it to either Mac OS Extended or Mac OS Extended Journal, which I would recommend using uh, Mac OS Extended Journal. Um, here you see we have 128-bit AES encryption and 256-bit encryption. Um, you can choose your password, and this is pretty cool. Uh, internet enabled here. It automatically copies the contents to the downloads folder when mounted after downloading. So uh, when this when this application downloads, it's automatically placed. Well, when this disk image downloads, it's automatically placed in your downloads folder. It just makes the life easier of the person who's downloading it. So that's DMG Canvas. Uh, there's more features, but I'm not going to go over them in this video since it's getting kind of long. Uh, check it out. I'll have the link in the uh, sidebar. We're just going to quit this, and it's going to ask me if I want to save. Don't save. All right. The last application that I'm going to show you is called DJ. Um, DJ is a shareware application. It's for creating mixes of uh, you know music and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. Wait for it to. Uh, you have a 10-day demo. I've already had it for a day, so it's telling me I have nine more days until the demo expires. I'm gonna run the demo, and you'll see I get this pretty nice user interface. I have. Uh, you know, all my music on the right here. And then I, you'll see I have like these two turntable setups. So I'm gonna go, I made a um, mix for the purpose of this video to show you in um, GarageBand. So I'm gonna go ahead, so I have two here. The beginnings are exactly the same, but the endings are a little bit different. So I have synth mix down and techno synth. synth. I'm gonna grab uh, this mix down version. And you'll see when I pick it up and drag it, it becomes like a disc icon. So I'm gonna grab it and drag it, throw it right here. And you'll see that it starts playing. I'll grab my other one here. Throw it right there. It'll start playing at the same time. Now, some of the options I have here are to, uh, I can do some scratches. I can move the arm in and out. This is pretty cool. I have speed, pitch adjustment. Um, there's a little equalizer here. There's not a lot to it, but it's pretty good. And I can also adjust the volume here for if one is more than the other here. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much mix your own stuff. You'll see if I press the record button up here, I can actually record whatever it's playing. Um, this little thing right here will actually stop it and play it again. And you know, there's a bunch more stuff you can do with this. You can loop it, backspin, forward spin, all kinds of programming effects. But uh, you know, that's about it for DJ. Um, thank you for joining me with this tutorial. Um, this has been Chris here for Frosty Productions. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll have the links over in the description, as I said. And uh, please feel free to uh, rate and comment. And I'd really appreciate it if you could check out my other videos and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching.